Welcome back to AMDM. I'm Bim Adewunmi and I am here, you can tell by my massive grin, I am here with Grammy Award winner, R&B princess and actor Ashanti. She just released her new single, Say Less, featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Welcome Ashanti. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you. I'm going to try and contain myself and be uh, so professional. <clears throat> So, as I said earlier, you've just released a new single. Yes. Um, and this is your sixth studio album. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to be released spring next year. Um, and it's on your own label, which is, I think this is your second album on your own label, Written yes. Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, and in this day and age where it's so hard, so hard to get like huge record sales because the way things are fragmented are just the way they are, what new tactics are you using to advertise your music in general? Like, how, how, we, how are you trying to overcome challenges regarding sales and stuff like that? Um, I think it's. The key is to create platforms or find platforms that are massive to make sure people are aware that mm -hmm. your records are out. Because a lot of things people were running into, I know myself, oh, I didn't know the album was out. Oh, I didn't know the single was out. You know what I mean? Right. So I think just learning as you go, it's about making sure that your brand is seen so that people can know and obviously say, oh, yeah, I want to buy that. I know it's out. You know what I mean? So I think it's important to do that and partner with big brands, mm -hmm. you know, to just give that extra push, especially with me being uh, uh, an independent and an owner, right, right. you know, it makes sense. And I can do that owning my masters and my licenses and things mm -hmm. like that. It's an easy fit mm -hmm. to cooperate and, and merge with big brands. Yeah. Was that something that you were thinking of when you kind of branched out and started this label? Kind of like, all right, I'm going to have to kind of juggle how I think about how my music gets out there now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know that it was going to be to this level because it's a lot of hard work. It's so hard, but just learning everything from being on majors, you know, I used, I used to look at a lot of paperwork, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just making mistakes, I've made expensive mistakes, you know what I mean? Yep. So okay. just learning from that and being around such amazing people and moguls, you know, that have made history and music, mm -hmm. I think it's essential. You yep. know, it's essential to just progressing and, and being able to prosper and, and be successful. Right, right. Yeah. So as I mentioned before, you this is your sixth studio album. You've had a very, very long career. Uh, it's been 15 years since the release of your uh, debut album. I know, right? Oh my God. I keep thinking about it in terms of how old I am. I'm like, wait, how old? Anyway, <laughs> um, can you tell us a little bit about how your sound has evolved over the years? Because obviously, you know, I've called you R&B princess. I say I as though I coined it, but I mean, <laughs> you know, like that's kind of like, what, what kind of evolution have you kind of like had to go through for your own music? Um, I think it's about just becoming more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, I obviously have grown up, so there are certain things that I wouldn't say on my first album that I'm saying now, you know what I mean? Even though we're talking about Say Less. But <laughs> <laughs> there are more things that I'm talking about that I feel comfortable talking about. Right. And I think as, as we grow, we become more comfortable with our fans and being able to do things in public. Right. You know, as a new artist, you're like, should I do that? Am I going to be okay? Now it's like, I'm doing what I feel. You know, I'm empowered. Yeah, you're grown. You know, exactly. Yeah. I'm grown. Exactly. You know? So speaking of uh, all the different moguls and people you've spoken to, I know you have collaborations on this record. Yes. Uh, one of them, obviously, is Diddy. And the other is French Montana. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about collaborating with big names like that? What's that about? Well, Diddy's always been a big brother for me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's so funny. I was at a party with him in Vegas and he was like, listen, I need you to be in my Ciroc commercial. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm laughing. I'm like, you know, everyone's kind of, you know, drinking. It's a club, <laughs> whatever. And they're like, I, he's like, I need you to be in my commercial. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He texted me the next day. So I knew he was serious and literally Two, three weeks later, we were shooting this huge Ciroc commercial with French Vanilla, which was amazing. I had on my little bikini. I'm coming out of the, the, the pool. Mm. Me, French, Khaled. Huge, huge, huge. And it's just been an amazing, amazing relationship, mm -hmm. you know. And, and Puff was just like, I want this to be your Buderic moment, you know. <laughs> and it's just, it's a sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. And what was yeah. cool about it and what makes sense is I was able to put my music, mm -hmm. the single Say Less featuring Ty Dolla, in the commercial, mm -hmm. which was awesome. Mm -hmm. And that's what I mean by those platforms. Right, you know right. what I mean? So Just now getting out there. that outreach, it reaches a whole different level. Right, right. Smart. Um, obviously, uh, you were currently on tour with Ja Rule. Yes. <laughs> the sound of my university days. Um, I wanted to ask, because I was in Santa Barbara this summer, and I saw your name with Ja on like a marquee. And I was like, yeah, I wish I was still here next week when they're back uh, here. But anyway, I wanted to ask, is there any revival for motoring anytime soon? Are you doing more things? Um, I don't 
don't know about a revival for mm -hmm. Murder, Inc. I know that me and Ja have been touring together for a while now. Mm -hmm. You know, we're always, you know, we're always talking about music and mm -hmm. we speak to each other all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know about a revival, but, you know, me and Ja, you know. Okay, I mean, that, that'll have to do for me. Um, <laughs> my other question, which I already mentioned this when I met you backstage, but what a look. Oh, thank you. And you consistently serve. I was also uh, very honored to meet your mother, who was also a server of looks. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm just saying. Um, and you also post a ton of photos on your Instagram. Instagram, which I love and I wanted to ask um, what is your secret because as the kids say you are snatched <laughs> <laughs> well thank you um, honestly for me mm -hmm. it's about eating healthy taking care of yourself from within first mm -hmm. you know I'm natural mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I feel like with everything that we see I am embracing who I am naturally, you know what I mean? So I go to the gym, I work, I have an awesome trainer. Um, I have an herbalist, you know, I do detoxes, I juice. I'm heavy with my kale and my ginger and heavy with my kale. you know what I, I mean? It. And I think it's just really important to just be aware of what you're putting in your body, right. you know? And you see the results when you're eating fast food versus mm -hmm. when you're trying to do something healthy, mm -hmm. you know? So I think it's really essential to be aware of what you're putting in your body. And, you know, I, I definitely have to get my crunches in. Mm -hmm. That's fair. <laughs> you know, it's um, not easy. I can imagine. I do no crunches and I'm going to have a massive bowl of mac and cheese later. Oh so thanks for the advice. Thanks. Um, I have to, obviously now, because I mentioned, we mentioned we were going to be talking to you this morning and we put out <laughs> a request on Twitter asking people to send us their romantic dilemmas. Obviously, two of your biggest singles, Foolish and Unfoolish. Mm -hmm. And we figured that there was a way for us to gamify that. So we asked viewers to send in their relationship issues and we want you to tell them if they are being foolish or unfoolish. Oh, and wow. we have paddles <laughs> oh, for this. So Thank you very much. We are BuzzFeed. We try. So I'm going to hand those I over to you. I love that. I'm going to weigh in, but my opinion means less in this game. <clears throat> OK, so we begin. Here is a question. I split the check with this guy on the first date, and now he expects that every time. Should I keep paying, or am I being foolish? Honey. <laughs> Stop it right now. Honey, <laughs> let me get yours. <laughs> Two foolishes. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's an emphatic foolish. All right, okay. Next question. I paid a lot of money to go to beauty school and now all my friends want their hair done by me, but for free. I don't charge to avoid conflict, but my school loan needs to be paid. Foolish or nah? Mm. Semi-foolish. I feel like, foolishish. Yeah, foolishish. <laughs> I feel like if they're your friends, they're not going to take advantage of you. Right. And if they know that you have to pay your loan, mm -hmm. they're going to offer you the money. Maybe you can give a discount, you know, maybe not every single time, mm -hmm. but if they know you have to pay off your loan, mm -hmm. if they're really a genuine friend, they're right. going to offer to pay. You should consider a career in the diplomatic services. That was a <laughs> Listen, perfect answer. I'm a Libra, you know, it's all about the balance. <laughs> I, you know what? Good call, well made. All right, final question. Uh, I found out my fiance cheated on me two years ago. We are supposed to get married in two months and I'm too embarrassed to call off the wedding. Foolish? Definitely foolish. Mm. Never feel, never <laughs> feel embarrassed. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you feel in your heart that you're not ready or if you are embarrassed to say you don't want to marry someone, mm -hmm. that's a sign. Okay. You know what I mean? So I feel like if you, in your heart, you're not sure, mm -hmm. lifetime is a lifetime. It's a, a lifetime. Long time. It's a long time. And if you're going to take a vow and, and you don't want to be cringing inside and, and being embarrassed for yourself, you will have sure. one life. You have to live your life, so don't be embarrassed right. if you don't want to be with this person. Right. You have, have a conversation more? and say, hey, yeah. sorry it didn't work out. Just pull out. Pull out. It's fine. <laughs> There's time, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, that's a mistake for life. Yeah, you don't want to do is, that. This is also me talking to you now, friend. Don't yeah, do it. Don't do that. I have a question that I have to ask myself. Uh, I'm sorry. This is uh, cheese. This is premium <laughs> cheese, but I have to ask it. This is my question. What if he's not always there when you call, but he's <laughs> always on time? <laughs> I'm embarrassed to even have said that out loud. Oh but God. I had to. This is one opportunity. That was clever. Thank you. That it's not my clever. first time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks very much. Um, oh anyway, my gosh. thank, thank you. you so much. You're we appreciate welcome. you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and up next, Saeed is back to talk about Disney's casting announcements for their live action remake of Mulan. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>